So guys, uh, in this video, I'll be doing the rap therapy staircase. Uh, yes, uh, all these time grinding for the rabbit therapies, I have, I have studied this molecule and I do have it, but yeah, I was grinding, grinding, grinding until I got the max level. Uh, not the tentacular mode because obviously I'll lose it, but yeah, so we'll be doing the rap therapies. So before I start, make sure you subscribe. Uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel. It's useful because I need the uh, I mean, a lot. I think like ninety five percent of it are not subscribed, and then the rest are subscribed. But yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, don't forget, uh, join my Discord. Yeah, yeah. Just wanna have a thank you for about the two hundred members, two hundred members from my Discord server. But but yeah, still thankful enough. So obviously, the server has like private server code. I linked it in my Discord server. But yeah, the private server code you can join and chat and just drop stairs. You can, get therapies and stuff or any other things scroll stuff but yeah and yeah a robot group as well which i don't know what to do with it and yeah i'll get this uh 60 likes yeah 60 likes for the rap tail beats and yeah now let's get into the showcase So before I start the showcase, I just want to do a small location, a quick one. I know I did it in my other videos, but I'm just going to do it again in case you guys forget about it. So, so yeah, I'm gonna, right, so first of all, uh, you're going to have to follow me. Yeah, follow me. I'm going to just activate my mode for this one. It'll be easier. But yeah, it, you just, it's very easy if you do know everything. In a small location, but yeah, it just spawns where the Ember Fate is. That's where the Rap Telbeast is, and it's also a boss. Of course, Telbeast are bosses. Boss to do fight. Yeah, only three people can get the scroll. So, yeah, so it just spawns where the Ember Fate Spirit spawns. Which is. Right here. Yeah, right here. That is where the Rap Telbeast spawns. Yeah. The time, I think the time for it to spawn is Is that I'm getting like 4.20? 4.20 AM PM? I'm not sure But yeah, that's the game time for it But yeah, the rarity for this one is 1 out of 40 So yeah, now let's go to the showcase Okay, so let's start with the first move The first move, or the mode for the that tail beast Is always the first mode, but there is a requirement to unlock it after you got the skull. So yeah, after you got the skull, uh, you need to be level 700 on your stats. The chakra to be on it is 5,000, and the cost is 6 million. Yes, yeah, 6 million, not 1 million. It's 6 million. I'm not joking, 6 million. Yeah, it's very expensive. I'm just yeah, I'm guessing that's one of the expensive one. Ah, uh, no, it's a Cuba hand. Yeah, so this one is already the second expensive, but. Yeah, these are the requirements to unlock the first mode for the rap tail beast. So, let's see, let's activate it and see what it is. So, first of all, you will have, there's no tail beast, but it just puts a bunny tail behind you. It's just a white, like white, uh, losing of carpus, opacity, rap tail beast, tail, and then your hair is just a little bit, a little bit white. Yeah, a little bit white but with low opacity in it and yeah, no no leaking chocolate from it, just this and make you cool like it as well. So yeah, let's see what the stats gives you. The stats gives 1800 on your chocolate, new and HP, and 2200 on your Tajutsu. So yeah, those are what it gives you. So now let's see what the Q mode does. Yeah, the Q mode is the same from our therapies, like the same way you just roar at the player and yeah. You just draw the player and the Z mode. All of these <laughs> suits a giant flame, flame in it. I'm just guessing that's what it does. Suits a giant, enormous flame at the player or NPC, which is pretty sure it's. I'm guessing it's a, it's a Easter egg by firing it. I'm just guessing, but yeah, so that's a big explosion after it. And yeah, the cooldown is 20 seconds to for the C mode. So yeah, now let's go to the second mode. So now let's go to the second mode for the Raptor B. So to knock the second mode, 
you need to be level 740. Yeah, this is the berserk mode. Okay, there's no like two tail stuff because Raptor's tail beast is just one tail. So yeah, it's the berserk mode which is which is 740. So yeah, let's activate it and see what it makes you look like. So yeah, this is the berserk mode. I'm, I'm guess I'm getting you say, but yeah, this one fully covers the body. Why? Like like one of the tail beasts the species does in the you know our games. I'm guessing I see these little things behind it is those uh the bones start protecting him, his armors. But yeah. Let's see what the stats give you. The stats give 2500 on your chocolate near to HP and 3000 on your Taijutsu. So yeah, the Q mode is obviously the same from the previous one, he just roars at the player. And the Z mode is it's very, I think it's a bit different from it, but this one, I'm guessing it does a big explosion at the wrong at the player <laughs> to me. And yeah, um, is this different from the previous one? I don't know because I'm, I just saw like three or two explosions from it. But yeah, that's the second mode. Now let's go to the third mode. So now let's go to the incomplete charcoal mode for the Raptor Beast. Yes, yeah, the third mode. This is similar to the one tail. The stage are the same to the one tail, but yeah. So to unlock the incomplete chocolate mode, you be level 1200. Yeah, that's every type of business requirements to unlock the incomplete chocolate mode. So yeah, for 1200. So let's activate and see what it actually does. Yeah, this is the uh, same for the other ones, but instead it just fully colors or colors the body white and with black lines from the from the from the covering it and make it more prettier, but. But yeah, that's this is what it makes you look like. Your hair is completely white, and your face as well. But your headband is still, uh, I don't know if I was uh, black or any color. But yeah, that's what it makes you look like. So yeah, let's see the Q mode. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. Before I take a look at the stats. So yeah, the stats gives two thousand six hundred and fifty on your chakra, and just two XP and three thousand on your tie. So yeah, I just saw the Q mode. The Q mode was previously uh, same to the other ones, and the Z mode. Yeah, this is the Z mode. This is similar, but this time. But yeah, but this time it does the four Easter egg from the on the side and a atomic in the middle. Was that fire? I mean, that's the lava giant lava ball in the middle, and then you combine them together, combine them, and throw it at the player, create a giant explosion, and yeah, that's what it does. So yeah. Let me, so now let's go to the completed chocolate mode for on the next stage. So yeah, let's go to the completed chocolate mode for the for the raptor base. So to unlock the that one, every tail base needs to be level one thousand seven hundred to unlock it. So yeah, yeah, this is what it does. Unfortunately, that behind it is usually a large tail, but this is a bunny tail instead. So yeah, it just puts you a white coat and changes the form of what you look like for this one. So yeah. So let's see what the stats give you. The stats gives 2800 on your chakra, then your 200 HP, and 3000 on your Taijutsu. So yeah, let's see what the Q mode does. Yeah, the Q mode just rolls at the player. It's still the same from the previous stage. Okay, there's two Z mode. One is just press Z, and the other one is right click Z. Yeah, let's do the Z one. Yeah, the Z one makes you right on the tail piece on to where it actually does. And yeah. If, if the tail beast gets out of control and then you uh, once you click on it it automatically shoots something and yeah there's a second one for the for the is this one so yeah, wait for the cooldown and yeah so the other one is just previously the same from the incomplete one is just the other one i'm getting to say but let's wait for the cooldown uh see that oh Okay, so yeah, let's hold right click, and yeah, this is what it, this is the one from the previous one. You put the giant lava ball and surround it with four Easter egg, and then combine them, create a giant explosion at the player where it aims at. And yeah, that is what the uh, incomplete chakra mode does. Now let's go to the six path mode for the tail beast. Okay, now let's go to the six path mode for it. So to unlock the six path mode, I actually said that it was one thousand seven hundred for the previous stage. The previous stage was 1500, but this the sixth path is 1700. So yeah, 1700 for uh, the sixth path mode for every tail beast. 
I uh, thought it was my back and just said that, but yeah, let's activate and see what it is. So yeah, this is you might see this face from our telepages. It's all the same except they just change the color. For that one, the night tail is orange. This one is white because it's telepiece mode. But yeah, let's see what the stats gives you. The stats gives 2,900 on your chakra, and HP, and 3,100 on your Taijutsu. So yeah, let's see what the kill mode does. Yeah, the kill mode. Oh yeah, the kill mode suits black atomic balls at the player. Yeah, this is the same to other tail pieces for the kill mode. Just suit multiple or black or at the player. So yeah, and the, there's the do one. So the one for pressing C is just you control the tail piece. Like it automatically suit whatever the tail piece does. Like yeah, W A S D. You suit it like that, and like that. Yeah, you can just suit it randomly. Like. Randomly click on it. So yeah, and there's the one. And this is the right click Z. The right click Z is the is the uncontrollable one. So you automatically just run onto random players and automatically uh, suits just one atomic in it, and that's what it does. But yeah, this one without right clicking is better because you can we can click doing it multiple times. And yeah, so yeah, that is the so that's all the showcase. I'm sorry if I didn't do the tentakia mode. So I don't want to sacrifice it for, for it, I just want to keep it, so yeah. Yeah, and yeah, let's go to the end. So yeah, that's all the modes for the Raptor Beast. Uh, yeah, I, actually, I didn't do the next game because I don't want to sacrifice it, I just did that, but but yeah. I'll distribute them up to, up to the 6th path for this one. Because obviously the Tentakian is not a stage, it's just, it's not like a stage, it's something you just press it and then you lose it, and that's what it does, but yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, enjoy this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe and and like, drop a like, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.